Hello and welcome to today's presentation on penis erection while sleeping. Today we want to cover this topic by looking at other names for penis erection while one is asleep, the causes, the importance, why and why do we not or some people not, some men do not experience um, penis erection. What are the consequences? What are some of the tests? That can be done to show that one is experiencing penis erection during uh, sleep or not. Right, so we'll first look at some of the, the other names for um, uh, penis erection while sleeping, such as sleeping bonus, nocturnal penal tumors. One can experience sleep related. Um, erection, also called sleep re related erection, morning glory, morning wood. Wow. All right, so we want to generally look at what penile erection is all about. Now, penile erection occurs in response to complex effects of the nervous system, typically the autonomic nervous system that is made up of the sympathetic. And parasympathetic nervous system, and of course, the endocrine system. Um, generally, the penis is filled with blood, which engorges, engorges and expands the, uh, the penis. It's a transverse section of the penis. When it's flaccid, that's when it's not filled with blood, and when it's erect, that's when it's filled with blood. There's an important portion, component, large portion of the penis that is made up of or is referred to as the corpus cavernosum. The corpus cavernosum is spongy, made up of a lot of blood vessels, capillaries, which allows the um, those spaces to be filled, the hollow spaces to be filled with, with blood and therefore engorges the penis and makes it red. Corpus generally means a body or part of an organ cavernosum is a cave some hollow um, 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 part of an organ it's very hollow um, just like a cave a cavern you know so this allows blood to be filled at any time when the penis is stimulated by the numerous nervous system that fills or are found within the penis so the penis is, is chiefly um, muscles, um, blood vessels, a lot of them, you know, so we said that it's highly vascularized. Now, for the purpose of our discussion, we want to um, classify erection into two types. Natural erection, that's when one is aware of a stimulus, you know, that it's kind of engineers or causes the erection that, you know, can come about, as we know, through person or someone watching erotic scenes, pornographic uh, movies, you know, as you can see here, and then um, somebody reading some stimulating uh, magazines. Okay, of course, it can also be through another human being, male or female, you know, uh, causing the, the, the erection. So there is a stimulus here, and the person is aware of the stimulus. Um, moving on, looking at artificial erection now, here is when one is not aware of stimulus. It forms the backbone of what we want to discuss today. So in this case, as you can see, one is asleep and experiences the um, erection. So to muddy your hands and dig in a little bit, you can then integrate it. The natural erection, we are saying that there's an arousal, as we said, it's a stimulus, and then the brain is incorporated, which releases some messages to the to the um, to the penis, you know, dilating the blood vessels, the capillaries of the of the penis, allowing more blood in. It also involves testosterone. Testosterone is a major um, sexually uh, 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 a sexual hormone in male reproductive uh, system involves in a number of uh, uh, development in the male 
from you know childhood to adolescent causing most of the changes that you see in males so natural erection um, the same mechanism can occur without the involvement of the brain in an uncontrolled reflex action that is in the spinal cord so sometimes the brain is not immediately even aware of a certain type of erection all right so we have in this case the spinal cord being being involved but whatever the case there is a stimulus there is some causa all right that that is leading to the the male having that erection so what about erection while erections while we are asleep so whilst we are asleep that's what we are calling for the purpose of discussion artificial erection while sleeping otherwise known as nocturnal penile erection so occurred during rapid eye movement REM sleep the phase during which we dream Okay, when certain areas of the brain are activated. In this case, you have the brain being responsible for stimulating the parasympathetic nerves, which suppresses another um, autonomic nervous system, uh, nervous uh, system that is the sympathetic nervous system. You know, the sympathetic nervous system that leads to a lot of the uh, flight and flight situation more more so when we are active uh, you know up and about you know a lot of uh, uh, metabolism going on the heart is beating a little faster you know uh, release of more insulin you know glucose being you know moving into the cells produce a lot of energy and so on so you cannot have um, a deep sleep and dream during when the sympathetic nervous system are kicked in you know when it kicks in there's no way you have that kind of uh, speed unless you are a special human being whilst you can be running for instance and dreaming you know or driving and doing it doesn't really um, um, work out that way and then when you are in a certain mood you know orchestrated by the presence of certain hormones like serotonin serotonin is in the mood so in a certain mood you know there's no way you can dream so all these um levels as the sympathetic and serotonin they need to be dumping whilst the parasympathetic which causes rest and digest and so on is kicked in now right and once it's kicked in it causes a lot of uh, changes in the penis um, anatomy and therefore can cause more blood to to, to go in therefore lead to erections okay an erection so let's look at more of it sleep is made out of several cycles of REM and non REM deep sleep during REM sleep there is a shift from the sympathetic fight and flight stimulation to parasympathetic is rest and digest stimulation is not found during other parts of the sleep cycle so when the body now shifts or moves into the, the non REM um, um, sleep or the the REM sleep the REM sleep okay the REM sleep then that there's that shift you know to the power and para then for relaxes the body causes the the body therefore to enter into that deep sleep mode the dream mode and therefore dilations or relaxations of the blood vessels in the penis and more blood fills in okay all right now this shift in balance therefore drives the parasympathetic nerve response that's that result in the erection this is spontaneous does not require does not require being awake some men may experience nocturnal penile tumors during non-REM sleep as well particularly older men so some few um, percentage of men um, in the older age group, do as you uh, experience erection during the non REM sleep, but it's very few, and it's not very clear how this comes about. So, how do we know that we have um, an erection? So, we have or we experience that as a man when we come most often come out of sleep during that phase. Sometimes it's associated with um, uh, being pressed to urinate, you know, uh -huh. being pressed to urinate and therefore 
Um, in fact, some people have said that it's, it's as a result of uh, wanting to urinate, that's why the penis become erect. But as you have seen today, it is more than that. It involves the nervous system, involves hormones, and so on, right? In fact, very interesting, some research and some, some papers have, 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 have reported that during the intraoperative penile erection phase, you have some men, and about 2.4% of some men, of men experiencing um, penile erection. Then it goes to support that the REM phase of, of sleep. All right. When you, we are deeply the the the, the uh, patient is given an institution and that forces the person to go into very deep sleep to allow allow the operation to go on. The intraoperative phase of phase of um, surgical procedure, or, um, yeah, is when the person is actually uh, admitted into the 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 theater, the theater to undergo the operation. Therefore. And until the time the person is sort of sent to the recovery ward to some sort of come out of the anesthesia and the after effect of, of it, okay. Some of the positive effects is that it helps erection in the long run. These erections keep your penile tissue soft and stretchy. So it allows uh, the smooth muscles to be relaxed, most often, therefore allows corpus blood a lot of blood to fill the um the the, the uh, cavernosum uh, which is as we say hollow and spongy allow more blood to move in if you do not experience um nocturnal uh, tumor sense what's likely to happen without this regular sleepy time workout these muscles may become too contracted and eventually the length of your erect penis may, may shorten that's what has been observed in some, some men. Some tests can be done to show this. Some or one of it is the MPT test. So usually over a three-day period, such a test is run for a meal where a small portable computer is con connected to certain bands to detect if one is experiencing erection. Another test, um, that can be done is when the um, flexible paper tape with some perforation is, is, is fitted snugly quite tightly around the shaft of the penis to, to, to um, cause the, the penis to break it. Okay, and if there's a break, then it shows that you do experience an erection. There are more, but this is what. We will look at what is the goal of the test. So chiefly, the goal is just to 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 detect, observe if you do experience erection whilst you whilst you sleep. And in fact, the average man, the average man has well, it has been found that they have about three to five episodes of MPT each night, and each episode lasts for thirty to sixty minutes. Although the duration is reduced with advanced age. Right, so at this point, only take time and, and subscribe down there. If if I enjoy the presentation or enjoying the, ch the channel, if you want more of it, if you have a suggestion, you have a comment of anything of the sort, you can just put it down below, look at it. You know, we, we aim to, to serve you to improve. Thank you. All right, so in summary, an erection um, occurs at night and is caused by the parasympathetic nervous system stimulating the penis during the deep sleep phase, which we have now known as the rapid eye movement sleep phase. Thank you so much and kindly, kindly subscribe. I appreciate your time, taking time to go through the presentation with me. And subscribe for more of such presentations. Have a nice time.